Hey everybody, this is Know Your Mac on YouTube.com and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Live Trace and Live Paint in Adobe Illustrator. Now for this I'll be using the latest version of Illustrator, Illustrator CS4, which looks like this. You can be using any version of Illustrator from CS2 on because CS2 was when Live Paint and Trace was released. So when I open it up, I'm going to double click on basic CMYK or RGB. I just like CMYK a little better. And then I'm just going to name this vector image. Just like that. And we only want one artboard for this. Feel free to change anything. And here's our artboard. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say file place. And for right now, I'm just going to use an image that has already been vectored just so this way you can easily see how you can use live paint it looks a little neater so I'm gonna open that up and here it is this is actually a picture from shutterstock.com you can get it through there if you want to follow along and it's a little robot holding a green joystick so now when we select it you'll notice that the options on the top will change so I'm gonna want to click on live trace now you could choose one of these so I'm just gonna show you photo high fidelity let's see how that looks now as you can see it looks like nothing happened but it's actually vectored already it's just in color now you can see the difference if I go to edit redo see the difference just like that now I could choose simple trace and that will create black and white. I could choose color 6 or color 16 to choose how many colors are allowed. Grayscale, which will again give me an image that's black and white. And I can use comic art, technical drawing, one color logo, things like that. So let's see, I think I'm going to use color 6 for right now just so this way you can easily see the transition. So now we already have our colors here but you may want to change your colors. So I'm going to show you just a little bit about how you can use live paint. Just the basic options for now. I'm going to click on that and that'll actually separate it into a bunch of different paths. It can be anywhere from 10 to 10,000. It depends on which settings you have. So here's a little robot and they're all paths already but we're not going to want to be selecting every single path and then changing the color of every single one. So luckily everyone at Adobe has created this live paint bucket tool. It looks just like this, live paint bucket and I can select this and start changing. So if I wanted to change the color of this joystick from green to I don't know maybe orange I could just select it orange 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 and then I could also even use the right and left keys to navigate to different colors so I could choose a blue and put in those little keys and maybe use a darker key for the inside of it just like that maybe even put a little blue up there now I could change the face if I want but I like the gray a lot so maybe I'll change the color of the eyes Again, using my right and left keys, I can navigate or just choose it in my color swatches. Now, as you can see, I'll start going to the gradient section so I can even fill it with a gradient. Just like that. So, as you can see, I could easily change the colors this way instead of having to change everything else, change everything else and go into my direct selection tool just gets annoying. Uh, let's see here. I'll choose this orange again. Like that. 
this color, put it there. And now as you can see, it's totally different from the original. It totally has a different color. And you could change this to whatever color you like. And you don't have to pick directly from the swatches. You can just go to your color palette, which is up here, and just select a new color. Just like that. And there you go. Now, feel free to experiment with the different types of live trace. So, I'm just going to place that image again. And if I go to, let's see, photo low fidelity, you'll see it's a little blurry. It still creates it, it's a little blurry though. So you gotta really experiment and see which one you like. You can even choose something like that where it's just a black and white. Just like that. And then if you have a black and white, the cool thing is that you could change some options like the threshold and minimum area. So I could change the threshold to 168 and the minimum area to 88. And then it totally looks different. It has more black and you could change it to less black. Things like that. As you can see, as I change it, it'll give me different options. Now it's the same thing when I go to live paint. Just take my live paint tool. I'm going to select a color. There you go. And this is great if you want to do a one color silhouette because as you can see everything is that color now. There's no black anymore. There's no colors. It's all right there. we go. So you basically have to choose a live paint and live trace setting based on what you're going to be using it for. Now this would be especially great if I want something where people can just open it up and whatever size they're going to make it, it's always the same resolution. That's what basically live trace is for. Now this over here is especially great if I want to maybe create a watermark because as you could see it's a it's very simple I can even use this for a logo so that's the basic tools of live paint and live trace I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to subscribe thanks